breaking down the deal. Gonna give you guys an inside look on my latest renovation, what I acquired the property at, what I paid in renovation, and what we're under contract to sell it at, and everything in between. Let's check it out. Getting into the numbers with things. I purchased this property at $199,000, and this particular property, it was actually a pre-market listing through an agent that was at our office, so I actually ended up getting paid a commission on the front side of the deal as well at two and a half percent. So on the front side, I made about 4,500 on it, but let's get into the skinny with the deal and check it out. So like I said, I purchased the property at 199,000 on this particular deal. I used a hard money lender and I got 100% financed on the deal. So that is actually very helpful for me because it allows me to keep some money in my pockets and be able to do more with my money, whether it's purchase more deals or put it towards the renovation, whatever it might be. So I got 100% financed on the deal. The terms are always not that great when using hard money, but on this particular one, I was charged 2.75% in points up front. So basically what points are, they are a percentage of the loan amount. So 2.75% of the loan amount, which was $199,000. So taking that into account, including my closing costs, which I'm gonna classify my loan fees and my, my closing costs with the title company, along with one month of interest that's paid up front at closing. I'm gonna put that all together and classify that as my soft cost. So my soft cost on the buying side of the property came to $12,966. So classifying that as my soft cost and then taking into account for the time that I'm gonna hold this property, which is basically the interest that I'm going to pay the lender throughout the duration that I hold this property, which is three months, my three months of interest comes to $3,980. So taking my soft cost on the acquisition side and including my interest that I'm paying, my all-in buying and holding costs for this deal came to $216,976. So I bought the property at $199,000 and now after closing fees on the front side and loan fees and interest throughout the duration, I'm into the deal $216,976 before any renovation has even taken place. Getting into the renovation side of things. So originally I had thought that I was gonna spend around 65, maybe 70 grand on the renovation. I ended up going over budget on this, but it worked out because I had enough room within the deal to do it. Um, so I ended up renovation wise, I spent $82,395 all in on the renovation. So it was, it was a full, full project, everything was done to it. So $82,395, which brings taking that $216,976, which is my buying and interest paid throughout, plus my renovation cost of the $82,395. My all-in number into the deal is $299,372. Now, when I bought this deal originally, I had the ARV right around $375, $385 maybe, depending on what, what was going on with the market. Um, and during the time that I was renovating the property, the market, the market slightly slowed down compared to what it was, say, three to six months ago, which was absolutely crazy bonkers and like 50 offers on everything. But I'm under contract to close on this property very shortly here for $375,000. So I wasn't too far off. Taking that into account, my soft costs upon closing, so my closing costs when going to sell the property. Now, I'm an agent myself, so I don't hire a listing agent because I can do it myself. So my closing costs, I, I classify 2.5% to go to a buyer's agent and then 2% for closing costs as a seller. So altogether, 4.5% I take into account for my closing costs. So basing that off of the $375,000 that we're under contract to close at, Closing costs come to $16,875. That's 4.5% of the $375,000. So, given that my all-in number into the deal is $299,372, that's what I'm all in the deal at. That's my acquisition, that's my closing costs on the front end, my holding costs with the lender, and all of my renovation. My all-in number is the $299,000. So, I take my contract price of 375,000 and I subtract out my closing costs. So that's gonna be the 16,875. That's the 4.5% of the 375. So that brings me to a net of $358,125. So with that being the case, what you do then is you take that net number, which is a 358,125, 
and you subtract out what you're all in the deal at. So I'm all in the deal at $299,372. So you take the 358 and you subtract the 299,000 that you're all in the deal at. And that brings me to a profit of $58,753. So that's a net profit to me. That's what I made on the deal. So circling back, how much cash did I myself have in the deal? Remember, I had 100% finance on the deal. So my cash out of pocket is going to be my closing costs on the front side. It's gonna be my lender fees. It's gonna be my holding fees, my interest that I paid throughout and all of the renovation costs. So the 83,000 I spent on renovation along with those costs that I just mentioned. So I'm all in the deal, cash out of my pocket, $100,371. My profit that I'm taking home from this deal is $58,753. So if I'm calculating my return on investment, I'm gonna take the 58,000 profit that I made and divide it by how much money I came out of pocket and invested in the deal. So my profit, my return on investment is gonna be 58% on this. On my money that I invested is 58%. So. That's pretty all right with me. I love doing this. I love changing something super ugly to something absolutely beautiful and giving somebody a home to love over the next however many years. So I hope that's helpful, guys. If you have any questions as far as investing or purchasing real estate in the Tampa area, whether investment-wise, primary home, whatever it might be, please feel free to reach out. I'd love to be a resource for you. Other than that, Tatum Praise, checking out. I'll see you guys on the next video.